Chapter 13 Time Reading time to the exact minute. There are 12 numbers and 60 divisions on a clock face. So the minute hand takes one hour to take one round to cover all the 60 divisions on the clock. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Therefore, number of divisions between two consecutive numbers is 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5 divisions or minutes. We will read the time on the given clock as 8.17. Here, the hour hand is at 8. The minute hand is at 3rd division after 3rd number. That is 17 minutes. 3 into 5 is equal to 15. Plus 2 minutes is equal to 17 minutes. Read the time on the clocks. 11.18 Time in AM and PM We can observe that there are 12 numbers written on a clock face. We know that a day has 24 hours. Therefore, the hour hand of a clock completes one round in 12 hours. So we divide 24 hours of a day in two periods. One from 12 midnight to 12 noon. Two from 12 noon to 12 midnight. Time from 12 midnight to 12 noon is denoted by AM, anti-meridium. Hence, 6 AM refers to 6 o'clock in the morning. Time from 12 noon to 12 midnight is denoted by PM, post-meridium. So, 6 PM refers to 6 o'clock in the evening. But when it is exactly 12 noon or 12 midnight, it is neither a.m. nor p.m. A day begins at 12 midnight and ends at 12 midnight. 12 midnight yesterday, 12 noon today, 12 midnight tomorrow. The 24-hour clock. In our everyday life, we normally use the 12-hour clock to tell time. In the 12-hour clock, we use AM or PM to tell whether it is daytime or nighttime. But there is another way of writing time, using the 24-hour clock. Many organizations like railways or the airlines work non-stop for 24 hours. They follow a different system of clock time called the 24-hour clock time. Instead of breaking up the day into two periods of time, a.m. and p.m., they consider their day as a continuous period of 24 hours. Here is a 24-hour clock. 1. Time before noon. 2. Time after noon. Look at the clock faces. The numbers in the inner scale are for counting the hours. The outer scale shows the 24-hour notation of the four noon times, clock face 1 and the afternoon times, clock face 2. Four digits are used to indicate the time. The first two digits show the hours. The last two digits show the minutes. The day starts at 12 midnight and is written as 00 hours. The day ends just before 12 midnight the following night and is written as 24 hours. 12 noon is denoted as 12 zero, zero hours. It is no longer necessary to write 
a.m. or p.m. after the time. Converting 12-hour clock to 24-hour clock. Examples A. 12 midnight equals 00, zero hours B. 12.34 a.m. equals 00, zero 34 hours Converting 24-hour clock to 12-hour clock. Examples A. 0005 zero, 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 hours equals 12.05 a.m. B. 1259 hours is equal to 12.59 p.m. Conversion of time. Have you ever noticed that in some clocks, apart from the hour hand and the minute hand, there is a third hand which moves faster. This is the seconds hand. The seconds hand takes one minute to go round the clock face once. The time taken by the seconds hand to move from one small division to the next is called a second. We know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. We can use these relations to convert from one unit of time to another. Example 1. Himanshu takes 3 minutes 30 seconds to swim 100 meters. How many seconds is that? Solution. Since 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, 3 minutes equals 3 into 60 seconds is equal to 180 seconds. Therefore, 3 minutes 30 seconds is equal to 180 seconds plus 30 seconds equals 210 seconds. Example 2. Neha takes 2 hours 25 minutes to finish her homework. How many minutes is that? Solution. Since 1 hour equals 60 minutes, 2 hours equals 2 into 60 minutes is equal to 120 minutes. Therefore, 2 hours 25 minutes is equal to 120 minutes plus 25 minutes is equal to 145 minutes. Example 3. Convert 450 minutes into hours and minutes. Solution. Since 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour, 450 minutes is equal to 450 divided by 60 hours. 450 divided by 60 gives quotient 7 and remainder 30. So, 450 minutes equals 7 hours, 30 minutes. Example 4. Convert 750 seconds to minutes. Solution. Since 60 seconds equals 1 minute, 750 seconds equals 750 divided by 60 minutes is equal to 12 minutes 30 seconds. Addition and subtraction of time. Examples 5. Add 25 minutes, 35 seconds and 20 minutes 20 seconds. Solution. Write the time in vertical columns correctly and perform normal addition. Therefore, 25 minutes, 35 seconds plus 20 minutes, 20 seconds is equal to 45 minutes, 55 seconds. Example 6. Subtract 28 minutes, 29 seconds from 45 minutes, 42 seconds. Solution. Write the time in vertical columns correctly and perform normal subtraction. Thus, 45 minutes, 42 seconds minus 28 minutes, 29 seconds is equal to 17 minutes, 13 seconds. 
time intervals. Example 7. A show started at 4.45 p.m. and ended at 8.30 p.m. Find the duration of the show. Solution. Time duration is equal to the time interval between 4.45 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. Here, both the times given are in p.m. Time interval equals 8.30 p.m. minus 4.45 p.m. is equal to 3 hours 45 minutes. Example 8. What time is 2 hours 40 minutes before 6.20 p.m.? Solution. Write 6.20 p.m. in the 24-hour clock system and subtract as shown. Here, 6.20 p.m. is equal to 18.20 hours is equal to 18.20 hours. 2 hours 40 minutes is equal to 0 to 40 hours is equal to 0 to 40 hours. Now, 1820 hours minus 24 hours is equal to 1540 hours is equal to 340 p.m. Thus, it is 340 p.m. in the 12-hour clock system. Interpreting a calendar There are seven days in a week which are as follows. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There are 12 months in a year. The number of days in each month is given in the table. A year has 52 weeks. There are 365 days in a year. The year which is divisible by 4 or a century, 100 years, divisible by 4 is called a leap year. For example, year 2004, 2000, 2016, etc. were leap year. There are 366 days in a leap year. February in a leap year has 29 days. Months, number of days. January, 31. February, 28 or 29. March, 31. April, 30. May, 31. June, 30. July, 31. August, 31. September, 30. October, 31. November, 30. December, 31. Example 9. Which of the following are leap years? A. 1996 B. 2015 Solution A. 1996 was a leap year because 1996 is divisible by 4. B. 2015 was not a leap year because 2015 is not divisible by 4. Calculating days. To calculate the number of days between two given dates, you need to remember the number of days present in that particular month. Example 10. Richard's birthday is on 11th March. Her friend Suraj was born on 5th May. How many days separate their birthdays? Solution. March contains 31 days while April contains 30 days. So, 11th March to 31st March is equal to 31 minus 11 is equal to 20 days. 1st April to 30th April is equal to 30 days. 1st May to 5th May is equal to 5 days. Thus, Richard's and Suraj's birthdays are separated by 
20 plus 30 plus 5 is equal to 55 days.